What's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm bringing you guys a guide to how to create your own hair regimen. I get a lot of questions from you all about how do I figure out when to use this, when do I co-wash, when do I deep condition, when do I pre-poo, when do I do all of these things, what will work best. And so I wanted to take this opportunity to give you guys really a basic kind of well-rounded regimen that you guys can use, customize, change the products out, whatever you want to do. But I definitely wanted to take this opportunity to do a very, very, very basic kind of how-to starter kit of a hair regimen. So if you guys want to learn more about how to create a hair regimen and all that good stuff, stay tuned to this video. And so I'm going to be sticking with one brand today because I fully believe that brands really create their products to work with each other. And so I like to stick within one brand or one line as much as possible because I know that products are created to be compatible with each other. Now you can cocktail things and create your own kind of formulas with different uh, products mixed together, but I like to keep things safe, keep things kosher, and not mix my products too much um, because I think that overcomplicates things a little bit and sometimes you don't know which product is actually working and which product isn't really doing anything and you could probably go without that one product that you added in your cocktail of five products that you're putting in your hair all the time. So yes, I wanted to stick with one brand today that's going to be my L Organics. I have used their line for at least the last three or four months consistently. I love their stuff. It's all super moisturizing and organic and all of that. So these products you can get in certain Sally's now, which is awesome, but you can also order all these products online. And I have a code, so if you want to use my code Jade, you'll receive $10 off, $20 or more when you purchase online, okay guys? So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So step number one is, what is a pre -poo? So pre-pooing is so important and something that I really invest time in on a weekly basis because it is kind of like, well pre-poo definition is pre-shampoo. So pre-cleansing, pre kind of wash day type of routine or it is a part of your wash day routine. Essentially you're just putting some sort of conditioner or oil treatment to your hair prior to cleansing and all of that kind of stuff. It's kind of like a deep condition before the deep condition and just adds in a lot more moisture and everything before you start cleansing your hair. I enjoy pre-pooing because it really does make a difference to me and I love the mint and almond oil by Male Organics. This has been my faithful pre-poo go-to product for a long time, a long time. I've had, this is actually my second bottle of this product and it really is great because it's super lightweight but it also really moisturizes your hair. Your hair literally eats this stuff up. Like my hair soaks it up. If you guys saw my wash day routine video that I posted about a month or two ago, this product was in there. Um, this is what I pre-poo with. If you don't have this, you can always use um, an organic coconut oil, extra virgin olive oil, but for me, my favorite is this one right here and this is definitely my my preferred pre-poo type of product. A lot of people use deep conditioners or conditioners or other creams and stuff, but I find that oils work best for me when I'm pre-pooing, and so I just literally generously slather it all over my hair. Like, I want my hair to be drenched, and if I'm not wearing it kind of overnight before I wash the next day, leave it in for at least 20 to 30 minutes um, so that your, real, your hair can really get some of that needed moisture before you actually go through with your cleansing process. So step number one is definitely pre-poo. Step number two is going to be either your co-washing or your cleansing. So this is the Babasu Conditioning Shampoo. It will lather and it's really water-based, it's really thin. And then this is a co-wash. This is the Dewberry Co-Wash um, by Mail Organics. So basically, you have to decide which one are you gonna use. Are you gonna go co-wash first? Are you gonna shampoo? What is the situation? When should you co-wash versus shampoo and vice versa? So let me tell y'all. If you are only co-washing, go buy a shampoo right now. Like stop this video, go to the store, and get a shampoo and cleanse your hair, okay? Because co-washing does not cleanse your hair. Co-washing is good for in-between cleansing, but it does not serve as a shampoo or a cleanser. If you are just co-washing, essentially you're just piling conditioner on top of each other. So that can not only be just gunky and cause buildup, but you're also clogging your hair follicles on your scalp because you're just having product buildup and on your hair. So it's almost like counterintuitive 
intuitive because you want to allow your hair to be open to ingest moisture but if you're continuously putting stuff onto it and not cleansing it you're like overpacking it with moisture and overpacking it with product. So you don't wanna do that. So I would say if you are someone who cleanses at least every two weeks or each week, with a shampoo that is sulfate or sulfate free, then co-washing in between wash and goes and styles is great for you. This is kind of like a day-to-day -day type of product, right? A co-wash. Co-wash, AKA conditioner wash, <laughs> okay? And so a shampoo is great. You have to have a great shampoo in your hair care regimen. That's needed because you wanna make sure that your scalp and your hair is cleansed. Now this is a sulfate free shampoo, but if you're a girl who's not really too particular on what styling product she uses, or say you like to straighten your hair from time to time, use heat time to time, and you're using silicones in your regimen, and now honestly, all of us do not check every single product that we use, even though some products may say that they're natural, does not mean that they don't have any silicones in there. So just to be safe, you should at least cleanse your hair with a sulfate shampoo once a month. That's my go-to, at least once a month, just to make sure I've got all of the, that month's past product buildup and anything that may be left in my hair out. And then every week or two weeks, whatever you prefer, you add in a sulfate free shampoo. And that's it. As long as you're doing that, your hair will be fine. Your hair will be good. But you cannot just co-wash, okay? So you need both of these. You need a shampoo and you need a co-wash. Now the last part of this is going to be your conditioner slash deep conditioner. So with the co-wash, you wouldn't need to do another conditioner after that. With the co-wash, you can detangle because it's going to have that slip that you need to detangle your hair and make it really soft and all that good stuff. But if you are using a shampoo, you definitely want to go backdoor with a conditioner. So since we're only shampooing once a week, we only want to deep condition after we shampoo, right? So I would like to use this conditioner, the Oil & Mint Deep Conditioning Protein Treatment. So here's the deal. I know we all think that curls need moisture and that's what we want. Our hair is dry, so we need moisture and oil and all of this moisture, 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 right? But the thing is our hair needs protein as well. A good balance of protein and moisture is really going to help your hair get to that really super healthy state. So you wanna make sure that you're at least doing a protein treatment twice a month or once a month, depending on how heavy the protein treatment is, especially if you're a girl who colors her hair or uses chemicals or anything like that, heat, all of that stuff, you definitely wanna be adding protein into your treatments um, at least you know every so often and it definitely depends on your hair type I would try to um, play around with low protein type of product so this product here doesn't have a ton of protein it's not gonna be overpowering it's not like a Afogee two-step where it's like liquid hydrolyzed protein and it's like makes your hair really hard and then you like have to deep condition it again after that protein treatment is super super intense and for those of us who really have damaged hair and we really need to get our curls to pop back up and so that is definitely like you only use that at the most every six to eight weeks this is a conditioner or deep treatment that you can use every week every two weeks that will maintain that really nice balance of moisture and protein without really giving you too much protein so this is the way that you can tell if you have too much protein or too much moisture this is also important to recognize in your hair so if your hair is really really soft okay and it doesn't want to lump together like your curls don't want to lock together um, you really have a hard time getting definition that means your hair does not have enough protein in it so you may be using all these great products but you only pay attention to products that say for frizzy and dry hair or for coarse hair or whatever so it has a lot of softening moisturizing ingredients in there and that's good you want that stuff but you also need a balance of protein as well and so you want to add in something like a protein treatment every few weeks or you're definitely deep conditioning every week but you may just not need to use a protein specific deep conditioner every week you can use a moisturizing deep conditioner um, every other week what I like to do is I like to alternate so I like to use a most moisturizing deep treatment one week and then a protein um, infused 
deep treatment the next week and I kind of alternate just to make sure that I've got the balance and all that stuff right okay and then if you feel like your hair has too much protein and I talked a little bit about this in one of my hair chat videos but basically when your hair is feeling very stringy very um, wiry it's not really soft it may look healthy it may look shiny but it doesn't really have any bounce it's kind of lost it's kind of voluptuousness and all that kind of stuff is voluptuousness a word I don't even know I think I just made that up anyway it doesn't really have that that body and that movement that you usually see in your hair that means you may be a little too heavy into the protein stuff so that means that maybe you skip a week of using a protein treatment and then you double up on your moisturizing treatments whatever the case may be the biggest part of creating your hair regimen is really understanding kind of where your hair is at and what it needs and being able to recognize what your hair is going through because a lot of times we use all these products because it tells us what it says that it's for curly hair it's for you know textured hair or it's for dry hair or brittle hair but what does that actually mean when it's on your head and being able to say okay my hair feels really soft right now is it is it linking and locking together like it used to is it not is it curling is it not curling is it looking stringy like all of those kinds of things matter and so you should be able to adjust your hair care regimen that week or every two weeks or whatever to maintain uh, your, your healthy hair right so let's go back and backtrack okay y'all we need one a pre poo a great pre poo product that an oil of some sort like the mint and almond oil or coconut oil or whatever that's your first step Second step is getting you a great cleanser, whether that be a co-wash in between cleanses or a really great shampoo that is sulfate free and a sulfate shampoo at least once a month, right? Step three is going to be your conditioner slash deep treatment, which that's easy. You want to make sure that you've got enough moisture, but also a really great balance of protein as well. So you can use different treatments based on how your hair is feeling and all that good stuff. So yeah, that's it. That's your basic hair care regimen, pre-poo, cleanse, condition, and go, right? All right, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, let me know down below if I missed anything. Let me know down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye.